people say I don't belong here How the hell she get her own tear? In my heart, y'all put no fear Fuck you niggas just to be clear I'm tired of all of y'all fake misses Acting like you really fuck with me See you skimming really want my spot You call me bully, but I know you not Little thick bitch in my bars heavy in my flow Damn me, my name carry What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chanel We are here with a couple of reactions today So let's just jump right on into it, alright? This one is, this is next level foul, level foul. Chick share a story about how she caught one of her friends violating her personal property and will leave you speechless. I'm glad I don't got friends like this. Anymore. Cause I have, I, I've had a friend or two violate. Well, I would say one, cause the other one's more like associates. So I will not give a damn about them like that. But I had one friend violate. But, um, let's see what old girl did. Oh, my bad, y'all. It's been a minute since I've been on this computer, so I forgot how to use it. All right. Before we even get into this video, if you have not already, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. All right. And now we're about to hop into it. A lot of really insane stories about my life but I think one of my most insane stories is in high school I went to an all-girls Christian boarding school in the middle of nowhere and one day oh, I man, I always wonder how 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 is it going to an all-girls school like high school Christian school I don't I'm not gonna say I don't think I would have made it cuz I you know if I was brought up like that and that's all I know then just all I know. In college, I did try. I I did. I wouldn't say try, cause I could have went to a all girls college. I was like, nah. But when I did go, I did pick an all girls dorm, cause I wanted that full experience. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, that college had accepted too many students that year, and it did pack. Uh two builders that really wasn't kind of ready, I guess. So they changed the all-girls dorm to co-ed. There was no all-girls dorm. I, I, there was one all-male dorm, and now it's because they had the athletes, the male athletes in the athletes. But other than that, um, they had changed mine to co-ed, so I didn't get that whole all-girl experience. I mean, my whole hallway was all-girls. That's the closest I got to it. And when I tell you that was the cattiest hall I have ever... I thought females in high school was catty, but I mean, we was fresh out of high school, so some of us anyway. So I, I guess that transpired, but it was, it was always some shit going on. And I were like, okay, we're gonna go to the dining hall, whatever, get dinner. Um, we lived in dorms. People seem to not know what boarding school is. Boarding school, like, you live at the school. Anyway, we were going to dinner. Call me slow. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, didn't, I did not know that. I ain't sending my high school or out to no damn boarding school to live there. The hell? You better act right. And one of my friends was like, oh, I'm going to stay back. Is it cool if I use your shower? And I was like, yeah, of course. She got in the shower, like, when we left. And then... Mm -hmm. We come back from dinner an hour later and she's still in the shower. And eventually like we're sitting there for like 20 minutes and then we're like, okay, should we check on her? Um, and we're knocking on the door, she's not answering. And we go into the bathroom. Um, the way the bathrooms were set up, uh, the shower and toilet are like behind us. They're like in a stall in our private bathrooms um, so that you can be showering or using the bathroom and your roommate can come in, brush their teeth, whatever. I mean, this is off topic. I just happen to notice she really loves pink or something. A lot of her background is pink. And then I see a lot of her clothes is pink. So I started to think maybe this is her daughter's room or something. But I look at that and then I look what she got on. She really loves pink. I have I have an aunt who really loves Hello Kitty. And I'm ho hopefully she has... Um, came out of this trend, but cause she's like she was in her thirties when I first saw her bedroom, and it was Hello Kitty out. And I don't mean a little bit of Hello Kitty. I mean 
everything was Hello Kitty. She had Hello Kitty pictures and stickers, big and small, medium, all sizes, all on her wall. Hello Kitty bed set from the comfort to the sheets to the pillowcases to the skirting. Hello Kitty lamps, Hello Kitty rugs on the floor, Hello Kitty uh, stuff on the TV, Hello Kitty dressers, Hello Kitty everything. In her bathroom, it was Hello Kitty everything. The shower curtain, the toilet covers, the floor mats, the the toothbrush, the toothbrush holders, the little stickers on the wall, everything was Hello Kitty. It looked like someone just threw up Hello Kitty everywhere. Her curtains, everything was Hello Kitty. And I thought to myself, how do you date? How do you date with all this Hello Kitty shit everywhere? No man want to come in and see all that shit. So, <laughs> she's not answering. So I stand up on the, I stand up on the counter and look over into the shower and she's like laying on the ground. So <laughs> I get a coat hanger and I reach over top of the stall, unlock the door. And like three of us go in there and we're like, oh my God, like, are you okay? Whatever, whatever. She like wakes up like she was asleep. And then we notice that she had my toothbrush, my electric toothbrush in between her legs. Come to find out, she had been using my electric toothbrush as a vibrator for months, and I had been using it and brushing my teeth with it. And now I have trust issues. So, yeah. That is horrible. Oh my God. Once I would have. So, basically, <laughs> so she used her toothbrush as a vibrator and, and, and had a strong climax and went to sleep in a shower. That must have been one strong orgasm to come like that. Because look where she at. It ain't like she was in her bed or something like where it's okay to go to sleep. Your ass is on the shower floor. I could never. Unless it's my own tub. I could never. You're on the shower floor in a stall with a toothbrush. She done went to sleep. That put that toothbrush put her ass out. Girl, what kind of Liz let us know what kind of toothbrush that is. You had a good one. You had a good one. That was rose before the rose. Damn, but I would have she would have had to catch that fade. I'm gonna let her get dressed first, but then I would have had to put hands on her because half of that's nasty as hell. And get your own fucking vibrating toothbrush. Oh, uh, like, ew, 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 ew. Because I know how germs is. I know how germs can travel and shit. That is disgusting. Uh, I would, yeah, I would have trust issues too. Can't nobody use my bathroom. Can't nobody use my bathroom. You can't be, you can't go in my area without me seeing you. I got to have eyes on you. Because I trusted this heifer and this heifer been violated. That is disgusting. I would have felt so violated too, girl. I understand your trust issues. I get it. That nasty trifling heifer. Yes, I called her a heifer. I had to go back to our grandparents' terms. So I feel her. I feel her. But girl, what kind of toothbrush was that though? Just <laughs> if you happen to watch it, drop it in the comments below. But that concludes this video, you guys. If you have not already, go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on all social media platforms. That is she.chanel. And until we meet again, we are out. People say I don't belong here. How the hell she get her own tear? In my heart, y'all put no fear. Fuck you, nigga, just to be clear.